the indicated operation in this problem is subtraction, so we know that we need to have a common denominator. Clearly, we don't have one, so the easiest way to find a common denominator is to factor each of the given denominators. The first denominator factors into x minus 4, x plus 4. The second factors into x plus 4, x minus 2. So our least common denominator will contain these factors from the first denominator, x minus 4, x plus 4. It will also contain these factors. Now we already have x plus 4, so we don't want to write it again. So our LCD is uh, those three factors. We can now find equivalent fractions. I will rewrite the fractions as they are given. I'll use the factored form of the denominators to make it easier. I'm going to multiply each of these by a form of 1 that will allow us to get a denominator that matches our LCD. For the first fraction, we have x minus 4, x plus 4. We need the factor of x minus 2. So I will multiply both the numerator and the denominator by x minus 2. For the second fraction, we have x plus 4, x minus 2. We need x minus 4. And so I will multiply the numerator and the denominator times x minus 4 over x minus 4. Now, in the numerators, then, when I simplify this, I'll have x minus 2 times x minus 5 and x plus 2 times x minus 4. So I will go ahead and multiply those. I can actually do that up above to save having to write another line. So I'll write, using the distributive property, x squared minus 5x minus 2x, which is minus 7x, plus 10. That, of course, is this multiplied. Minus, and then I can multiply these. x times x is x squared. Minus 4x minus 2x is minus 6x. Negative 2 times negative 4 is 8. And so I end up with this subtract this, which is equivalent to adding the opposite of the second quantity. Now, I know that when I add fractions, I will add the numerators. And so my next step will be x squared minus 7x plus 10 plus negative 1 times x squared, which is negative x squared, plus 6x plus negative 8. I can put that all over the denominator. And then I can simplify x squared plus negative x squared is 0, so I'll just cancel those out. Negative 7x plus 6x is negative x, and 10 plus negative 8 is plus 2. So we'll have negative x plus 2 over x minus 2 times x minus 4 times x plus 4. Now we have to make a clever observation here that negative x plus 2 is the opposite of x minus 2. So what I can do, I'll write this off to the right, is I will write negative 1 times x minus 2. I'll place that over the denominator so that I can see what I'm going to divide out. And I notice that I have a common factor of x minus 2, so they divide out. And I'm left with negative 1 over x minus 4 times x plus 4.